Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Covenant of the Holy Plumage, and in the last episode, we uh, we we may have uh, unleashed some cores on the galaxy. I uh, probably not, though. Probably not. Uh, we do need to take a look into that space, so I am going to get a level one scientist just in case. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, explore rather than survey, because uh, I fully expect this to result in uh, um, death and destruction of that ship. <clears throat> so given that uh, some of the Grey Tempest has already popped out here, uh, I have queued up some upgrades on that station. Uh, I think we are going to want to queue up some upgrades down here in the Zakoran Black Hole. Uh, and hit the wrong one of those buttons... Alright, so we got 12 out of 15. Let's get a couple more. And let's swap these out for gun batteries. And then we can swap this out for the Defense Grid Supercomputer. I don't think the target uplink is going to matter. So, let's go with Disruption Field Generator. And I think we'll live without that, so... Command Center. And Communications Jammer. I think all of that will be uh, uh, useful. Um, and on top of that, since we are uh, a bit higher, uh, Prophetess, because of our Prophetess, we are going to uh, go ahead and, and build up past our cap, I think. Um, we just need... We need more more ships if we're going to take this. So let's go ahead and get more of those. Some of those, and some of those. All right. That'll probably take a blow us past our naval capacity, but uh, we will we'll deal with that when... Uh, um, you know, we'll start losing ships, uh, almost assuredly. And I forgot to bump up the speed. Let's go ahead and fix that. Science ship facing unfair competition. Okay. Yep. As I expected, uh, there is uh, some substantial danger. There is a uh, shattered world there. There are also nanite worlds. Swarming with active nanites, this world is in constant flux as the lithosphere and atmosphere are endlessly reprocessed. Okay, well, uh, our science ship actually made it out of there. I am kind of surprised. But now we can see the... Uh, the borders that we got here. And... We're going to need to get in there and... Um, do stuff soon. Uh, so these guys are probably going to lose this station. Wait for the game to uh, decide to uh, think of some things. Yep. Alright. So they have lost the station. They have lost this system. One nice thing is that if I can take this, and no one has taken these back, then I can scoop up these. Give me a closer border access to various things. Um, but once we get all of these fleets maxed out, then we may want to start working on uh, taking out some of these things. This one is just vassalized. Uh, okay, the Tronzaru Nexus... You guys vassalize the Palmyrian uh, Enterprises. Who are you? Where are you? All the way over there. Wow. Why didn't you ask me? Alright. Um, there is a... 
Maelstrom here. I don't know if there's uh, any combat. They're they're they've come out there. Um, they've already destroyed that. Already destroyed that. Haven't popped out of this one yet. I suppose it's possible they'll take out the Ether Drake, but kind of doubt it. And uh, they have not come out of ours yet. Um, we're gonna let the uh, the aliens do a little bit of their their marauding thing because uh, we, we kind of you know can't save the world yet. What do you want? Um, sure, I'll I'll take your stuff. That's fine with me. I don't mind that. Aggression packed. Complete. Okay, new science ship. Uh, let's just move you here. Yeah, there's a lot of things uh, changing because you know, basically the threat has uh, caused all these guys to uh, reevaluate things. Man, game, you really have to lag spike. I have upgraded to uh, 2.2.4, and it does say that there are some uh, performance fixes. I don't know, maybe. Uh, Maybe the performance fixes mainly work with a new game. I don't know. Uh, we do have unemployment, but we got plenty of jobs. Unemployment and plenty of jobs. Unemployment and plenty of jobs. Uh, this planet has a spare building available, and I am losing... A lot of energy. Something must be breaking off one of my uh, trade routes. I'll take a look at that in a moment. Um, but I think we need more civilian industries. Okay, so... No? A 2,000 trade. I don't know how much that was before, but... Uh, I need those, uh, those gateways built soon. Oh, crap. Oh, they're trying to take that. All right, that 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 explains it. That's a little something that I was kind of worried about. Can I block access? Is that going to recalculate our trade routes? It is. Okay. Research actualized. All right, that should fix uh, pretty soon. Got some flak artillery. Let's go for the Titans. We're going to need those. Let's let another month go by and see if this fixes. Ringworld section restored. Building on what remains of the ruined Ringworld in the Impaltov system, our engineers have managed to fully restore one of the sections. 
the new biosphere had to be created more or less from scratch, and our leading planetologists, uh, by our leading planetologists, but it is now considered stable and ready for habitation. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and colonize. Send our piece of stars over there again. Not piece of stars, phasias. Why did I say that? I don't know. Uh, since we are having a little bit of a an energy issue, let's just do the regular one. All right, so let's make this a um, let's make this uh, the Nibble Av Agricultural Preserve. There we go. We'll get that colonized. Rakthalak Nak have uh, opened their borders to us. Let's let some time pass. Okay, Rihi has an actual uh, job issue. Let's go with those. Upscaling complete. Uh, Hato has some unemployment and available building. So let's get some more science. Did I pass it? I may have passed it. No, I didn't. Where are you, sciencey buildings? There you are. some upgrades available. I don't really care about that at the moment. Alright, I was moving you there to build a gateway. I guess I will do so. It is a hundred influence, but we'll go for it. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. All right. Our uh, energy credit issue has been resolved. Trade is back up by 900. So that is helpful. Um, so unfortunately, by blocking off this like that, uh, I can't actually send anyone there. I may have to manually do some uh, um, some routing. Uh, ancient rivals. The return of the Telekur to the galactic scene has not gone unnoticed by the other fallen empires present in our galaxy. The Dabaks in particular appeared most agitated by the news. It seems that the two precursors are ancient rivals, and although the reasons for their rivalry has long since faded into history, the sudden reawakening of Telekur arbitrators as inflamed old animosities and triggered a counter-reaction. The Dabax Crusaders have roused themselves from their slumber to face their old rivals, with the whole galaxy as their battleground. What will this mean for us? Oh, poop. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. I am smack dab in the middle of them. Hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Look at them just spawn out fleets. 
Alright, well, we'll have to see what ends up happening with this. Uh, they don't have any uh, signatories yet. I'm not even sure if I can lead the non-aligned worlds, because I can't be a part of a federation, and that is technically a federation. Why did the Sig and Wildlings go in here? Upscaling. On the upside, they'll do some damage to one of these fleets. A little bit. Not a whole lot. Man, they are just getting mauled. Well. <laughs> we can see the, uh, the fighters on the screen. That's pretty great. Foreign Federation has consolidated. All right. Um, Polarian Synergetics and the Imperium of Ganvius Primus join the Delnura Alliance. Okay. It's fine by me. Omni Knowledge Seekers are trying to take this back. Have opened your borders to me. Don't think that I will be uh, um, upgrading my fleets just yet. What is going on here? Ah, they are attacking this, which. I mean, on the one hand, uh, I mean, it, it would suck to lose that, but on the other hand, I'm not exactly gaining a whole lot out of that. Well, wait a second. Yeah, that is, that is my vassal, actually. Hmm. Oh, well. Not my problem. That's, that's for them to figure out. Not me. That will keep them there for a while. So I don't need to worry about that fleet. Yeah, 492 out of 456. That's goody. That's fantastic. Upscaling complete. Research actualized. Zvardsrust can uh, get a building. Um, what do we want here? Oh yeah, I can no longer build the uh, the corporate monument. I don't lose the ones that I have, and I can get them on other buildings, but I can't build them anymore. Which is kind of a shame, but at least I already got the ones that I <laughs> that were available to me. Uh, food isn't going to be much good, I guess. Commercial zones will work. Actually, you know what? I need more civilian industries, I think. Scar Bray has an available building slot. Got a lot of trade value here. I can keep going with more trade value. Not really producing anything else. Yeah, we'll just uh just get more trade value. I don't know how it can be in a rural world with so many uh, clerks and so much trade value, but. All right, Agri-World, anything in particular that we want? No. Uh, so let's go with a hydroponics farm. Thanatos. Galactic Stock Exchange. Dungeon Deceit. Galactic Stock Exchange, and there we go. All right. Get those built. Science ship keeps popping in trying to uh, survey. All right, hyper shields. Incoming inquiry. Um, I think actualized. energy weapon damage is going to be good. Naval capacity plus twenty is very good. Don't don't really care about fleet command limit. Fleet 
logical adaptation is okay and it's pretty quick. Uh, you're going to toss me a little bit of resources, so I will take those. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that there is another uh, Elgate there, and they're they're really going hard on against these guys. Got the Great Tempest here. They are bombarding this planet. Uh, Deary refugees have appeared. Decided to flee. I'm gonna wait until my fleets are actually, uh, fully built up before I do anything. Uh, where else were there some, uh... Station under assault. <sighs> pirates. Definitely can't uh, handle that. All right. I mean, with the uh, station there. Oh wow, they have they have just like cut a swath through here. Incoming transmission. Not sure if the Vor technocracy are going to be uh, um, surviving much longer. All right, they've uh, done quite a bit of damage here. No one else around there, however. Alright, but I am capped out on consumer goods, so let's go ahead and sell some of those. Let's let a month go by and see if uh, the. If that gets fixed. Ah! Dinks! Mining platform lost. I need my crystals. Destroy my crystals. That is going to be a pain. Now I'm losing a lot of energy credits. Alari refugees arrive. Battered fleet of small civilian vessels carrying Alari fle fleeing from the uh, true Alari horde have arrived in our space. After we supplied them with food and provided metal medical attention to their wounded, the refugees were allowed to settle on Trinsic. These ragged and frightened refugees are fleeing the ravages of the Great Tempest in Alari space. They just barely managed to escape their home planet of Rabanus before the Rax... Thalak... Onslaught reached it. Huh. Leaving most of their personal possessions behind on the doomed world. They're welcome here. Did that actually destroy the planet? Have they actually lost the planet? It is a tomb world. I'm not sure if that... If it was a tomb world already. Probably was, but... You know what? Just just jump in there. And I'll be able to jump in and repair all that stuff at least. Upscaling complete. Colonial enterprise established. Uh, we have established the colony Nibble Capital uh, in the Impul Tov system. Now that we have colonized a reconstructed segment of the Impal Tov ringworld, we must decide what is to be done with the alien clones left behind in cryostasis on the megastructure's habitat sections. Excuse me? I didn't know this was a thing. I don't know what you get for the Cryonic Clones Monument, but uh, thaw them out. They can join our workforce. All right, so we got two more pops.
Cryonic clones. They are nerve stapled. Resources from jobs plus 5%. Cannot generate leaders. Cannot be employed in ruler or specialist jobs. Uh, they're proles. So army damage, minerals from jobs, food from jobs, physics research from jobs. Well, all the science. And they're strong. Okay. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll swap these two now. We'll see if we get the same thing there. I mean, if we got nerve stapled guys, we might as well let them uh, grow and become farmers. They're good at agriculture. All right. Let's go ahead and attack that. Upscaling complete. Take care of these stupid pirates. Can't wait till my gateways are actually done. Competitive station engaged. You can take out that station. That's perfectly fine. Okay, got some extra resources. Upscaling complete. Go ahead and repair that fleet. And go ahead and jump in here. Telecur arbitrator arbitrators open their borders to me. Mirror dimension guys have uh, their trade has declined. I don't know if there's anything that can happen if, like... Oh, it looks like we've uh, learned that they've been completely destroyed and uh, the Warp Beasts are coming through to us or anything like that. Never had any any other effects from that. Upscaling complete. I'm going to let them get... Uh, Fully repaired. Upscaling complete. And how long until... Okay, good. Not too much longer until the gateway is done. Upscaling complete. Okay. Come back through here. And uh, I'll take a look through the planets uh, that we have, see if there's anything that we want to um, uh, improve. And once our uh, fleets have actually gotten all of the, uh, the, the ships that I queued up for them, uh, then we will make our first foray into... Uh, the Terminal Egress. See if we can take some of that. Um, not actually sure that I will take much out here other than maybe just taking the initial system if I can. That, that got destroyed kind of thing. These guys have already taken this back, so I'm not getting that one, unfortunately. Um, they've already taken this one back. That's one thing that the uh, uh, the Great Tempest doesn't do is that they don't really build stations or anything. So, oh well. Uh, for now, we'll call it an episode. When we come back next time, uh, we will try and explore uh, this stuff. See you then, everyone. <laughs>